everyone. Do you happen to know what the chance of rain tomorrow is? It might rain, it could rain, it must rain. No problem, let's Google it. So, the chance of rain tomorrow. Hmm. So they say that there is a 30% chance of rain tomorrow. I guess you should be able to go for a walk tomorrow. Why have I used should? Because should expresses a 70% uh, probability of something. If you want to find out more about possibility, probability and deduction, keep watching this video. To deduce how certain a situation is, we use the following verbs. Uh, might, uh, could, may, should, ought to, must, can't uh, and couldn't. So many, but let's put them in the order that will help you memorize them. From the least certain to the most certain. Shall we begin with might, could and may? Might, could and may are used to express a very slight possibility. Look at my example. I might eat an ice cream tomorrow. To tell the truth, I don't like ice cream. So you understand how possible this situation is. What's next? Should and ought to. So they are used to express the situation is quite likely. For example, I should have three classes tomorrow, which is true. What shall we do if we are almost 100% sure in the situation? We use must, can't and couldn't. I must be a teacher, I can't be a doctor, you see? How can we deduce things in the past? We take a model, we add an auxiliary have and we put the main verb uh, in the past participle form or uh, if it is a regular verb, we add ed ending. So can you deduce something from your past? Okay, let me give you my examples. He might have been at home yesterday or uh, it must have been Jane in that new dress. That's about it. Don't forget to practice. Bye.